Hello everyone, I'm Jessica, and today we're going to be reviewing a semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland. As always, I'm going to put this book down because, as I'm sure you're aware, I talk with my hands. So, bye book! This is going to be a spoiler-free review, and I liked this book so much that I read it twice this month. I actually read it um, at the beginning of the month and then read it again for the Winter Biennial Bibliothon to complete my challenge of read a book that deals with mental illness. A semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares is about a 17-year-old girl by the name of Esther who believes that her family has been cursed by death. Yes, death. The one with the scythe and the hood and the black cloak. That guy. And basically the curse states that Everyone in her family will have this one great fear in their life, and they will die from that great fear. So far in Esther's life, her brother is afraid of the dark, her mother's afraid of bad luck, her dad's an agoraphobe, her grandfather's afraid of drowning, she has a cousin who's afraid of bees, and Esther has yet to figure out what she is afraid of. So she's been keeping a list of everything that she could be afraid of, things that kind of freak her out. And that's kind of where our story starts off from. The story follows Esther as she and a couple of other people go through her list and go against what her fears may be. They face her fears and try to see if they can beat their curse and discover if there actually is a curse. I did end up giving this book a 4.75 out of 5 stars. Um, again, I read it twice. I really loved it. I'm really glad I took a chance on it. It is not what I was expecting at all. From this cover, despite the fact that, you know, it has a skeleton arm on it and a black cat, um, and, 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 um, I believe it's an orchid, um, I expected it to be more, like, bright and happy, more of a contemporary feel, and while it is contemporary, it definitely has some magical elements to it. Not necessarily magical, but fantastical, fantastical elements. One of the key things that I really loved about this book was the writing style. Um, it cuts into, um, Esther gives different reasons for things and it cuts into that, um, and it'll list things and there's text messaging and it's just a really interesting way. Um, the voice, Esther's voice is very prominent and very enjoyable. I really love that part about it. Um, the plot, again, was great. I took four pages of notes front and back while reading this, and I just, I really, really enjoyed this story. Um, it's whimsical, it's funny, it's entertaining, it's even at some parts so realistic, um, outside of the fantastical elements. The parts that are centered within our world are very relatable and fun to read, and Esther's family is super fun to read as well. I cannot um, speak for um, the agoraphobia and the night terrors and those type of um, mental health issues, but as for Esther's anxiety, I can definitely say that it is very on point with my own anxiety and depression. Um, you definitely, as the writer is describing it, you definitely realize that that's how you feel um, when you're going through an anxiety attack or a panic attack. I know they are two separate things, um, but both have similar symptoms. I do not know if the author has any of these uh, mental health issues, but I can tell you she did her research uh, just from that aspect because it's so on point to how I feel that either she has experienced these herself or she has done some A-plus research in her time. This story is funny, light-hearted, endearing, incredibly deep at times, thoughtful, and just a really wonderful story. I will throw out there, um, as I did in my review, which I will leave a link to my full review on Goodreads in the description box below, there are some things that you do need to be aware of. There are um, suicide attempts, uh, cutting, death, um, very, it's not descriptive, it's not graphic, 
um, in any way, but it is there. Um, just so that you know that. I think the way that they discuss these types of issues is how I would discuss them. Uh, my family is very sarcastic, even in the face of danger. So it's very relatable for me to um, see the way that they dealt with things because it's definitely what my family would do. We're horrible people. It's cool. If you have any questions about this book, please leave them in the comment section below and I would be more than happy to discuss this book with you because, again, I did really enjoy it and, like I said, I have read it twice this month. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book-related videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!